What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So does anybody here remember the big blue Capcom cabinets from back in the day? They're really known for having that really tall marquee and a unique control panel. And, uh, you know, I always thought they were kind of generic looking, but, uh, you know, the Q sound version of these cabs were awesome. You have those big 6x9 speakers just blasted in your face. Well, according to Toycade, RK1 is going to go ahead and follow some of this design language, and I think uh, it's, I think it's like... It's like if Papa Smurf and the Eye of Sauron were able to somehow procreate and give birth to uh, this, you know, abomination. That's that's pretty much what I think about it. Um, it looks like you've got a standard riser, but because of that extra height for that gaudy marquee, they're gonna have to uh, they're gonna have to splice in another uh, another section of side art or side panel to get the height required. So I think you can kind of see the seam right there. I think that's going to be really unstable. And um, I always think, and, and Toy Kate even sort of mentioned this in the video, that and others have as well, that this was Capcom kind of trying to uh, mimic what Neo Geo did. But when Neo Geo had a all-red cabinet, you knew that that cabinet was going to have two to four games in it. And uh, to me, this just didn't hit the mark. So I don't have a lot of fond memories about, about the big blue cab at all. And I think that what's also disturbing is that they're not going to go full on with the control panel design. So you're just going to get kind of repurposed, reused parts. And we're getting the same games that we had before. Now, this cabinet is also supposed to be uh, live. So it's going to have Wi-Fi capabilities. But it's still the same games list that we had before. It's really starting to appear, at least to me, that maybe... RK One Up doesn't have all those great licenses that they that they say they do. We just keep getting the same games over and over again, and especially if this is not another twelve and one, it's just going to be sort of those same three games that we had before. Um, I, I just don't see the point. I'm not sure who is going to who this is for. I mean, you know, it's it's really frustrating to think that this is going to come out in lieu of your failed legacy cabinets. And some people just want to play Street Fighter online, so they're going to go with this cabinet. So we have to end up paying $500 or $400 for one or two new features. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. And, you know, Toycade is kind of speculating about the control panel and this little blurred spot right here. I mean, I, I don't see the appeal for this at all. I really don't. I think that if you're going to go for a a three-quarter scale representation of the original cabinet, then you got to go three-quarter scale. you got to mimic all the angles. You have to mimic that control panel and just shrink everything down to three-quarter scale. You don't halfway do it. You don't go for the marquee, but eh, we'll just slap you know the old uh, Gen 3 or Gen 1 control panels on this. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if it's real. Uh, so let's just assume that it is for now. I think this, if they do it, it's just going to be a massive mistake and kind of a slap in the face to those of us who really want more. We want new games and, and additional cabinets. But anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.